Hi everyone, in this lecture we will cover chapter number 5 about the behavior of interest rate. Before we go into the behavior of interest rate, we should see that what determines of asset demand. For any asset, mainly we have four factors like wealth, expected return, risk, and liquidity. When the wealth is increasing, the demand for asset will increase. It is positive relationship. For expected return, when the return expected over the next period on one asset relative to alternative assets is higher, we expect the demand for this one will increase. Risk. As the majority of people, they are risk aversion, so it is a negative relationship with the demand for an asset. Liquidity has a positive relationship with demand for assets. In this semantic table, we can see that what we expect as a relationship between these four variables and the demand for assets. All four factors, wealth, expected return, risk and liquidity increased. The quantity demanded increased in all cases except risk as it is expected. For supply and demand in the bond market, we will see that as we explained in the previous chapter, there is a negative relationship between the price of the bond and its interest rate. If the price decreased, the interest rate will increase. And in this case, the quantity demanded will be higher, which means negative relationship. At the opposite is uh, supply. As lower prices means higher interest rates, will push supplier to decrease their supply of bonds, which means positive relationship. In this graph, we can see this relationship. On horizontal, we have quantity of bonds. On vertical, we have a price and interest rate. Supply is positively sloped. Demand is negatively sloped. If the price of this bond is 1000 and its face value is 1000, so there is no interest rate, it is zero. When the price is decreasing, the interest rate is increasing. And when the price is increasing, interest rate is decreasing until we reach to the equilibrium point C where the price is 850 and the interest rate is 17.6% and the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied they are equal at 300. There is five factors could affect the demand for bonds. Wells has a positive relationship, as we explained before. Expected return has a negative relationship. Expected inflation has a negative relationship. Risk, again, has a negative relationship. And liquidity has a positive relationship. All what we explained in previous slide could be clear in this slide. We can see that the impact of wealth and liquidity are positive so that the demand shifted to the right, the red ones, while expected interest rate, expected inflation and risk, they have negative impact where the new demand, the red lines, shifted to the left. This is the end of this lecture and thank you.